This is another quick set on uh, adding machines out of Lego. These are very early prototypes I want to develop for, for the workshop. Um, I have working pieces that I can show people. This is quite a simple way of doing it using pulleys. Um, the idea is here that the, the centre pulley is taking the average of the two that are around it. Um, I'm not really sure if that's the best one to work with because it's very fiddly with Lego and string. If it slips off, that's it. It's a bit of a mess, but it's quite a nice way of demonstrating the point. Uh, a more robust way of doing that is with linear gears. So what you can do is um, take two linear gears and split them with a the gear in the middle. So I take that off there. Oops. There's two of these, and they're just free to slide. And there's a gear in the middle. And that goes through into gear at the top here. So that gear then is rolling on another linear gear and then you can add up the motion to put another one on top. So we put another uh, mechanism in here and that has the effect of multiplying things by two. So what you get is you move this along, that goes up by one, that's moving by one, Go by one, move them both. It's the same as effectively adding them together. Uh, another way you can do it is with Hooke's Law. So this is one of the early ones I developed using springs, uh, Lego springs. So there are two springs down here and they're independent of each other on each of these levers and they're all joined on a single beam in the middle that connects uh, to two other springs that work in compression. So you've got the average of those springs against those springs. So it's uh, effectively four springs, so it's going to be a quarter of the output of the motion. So when I move this spring here, given uh, Hooke's law, the force is proportional to the distance, so that's acting against these two springs, and the output motion there is a quarter of the actual motion of the input. It's a quarter because it's half of that against these two, halved again because it's halfway through these. It's um, halfway between these two springs, so that's moving by uh, half. And if I move both, it's moving all the way. Might be a bit easier to see from the side. I thought an easier way of representing that is with the um, with bands. So if I made this one here, which uh, is a little bigger and you can see the motion a bit more clearly, but the output's still tiny. So when I move an input here, it's moving that sort of central beam. So yeah, it's not perfect, but it's a nice way of demonstrating Hooke's Law. Also, to ensure that everything moves, um, that this, this whole section here remains horizontal, there's a gear train that runs over it. So as it's moving up and down, these gears are rolling, and that's connected all the way through. And I make sure it doesn't slip um, or get snagged. 